Hey everybody, Nick Licamelli here. Today I'm going to show you one of my favorite core and ab exercises. And I think I invented it. I've never seen it anywhere. But I don't know what to call it. So feel free to call it whatever you want. Um, and if you've seen it before and I didn't come up with it, that's fine. I've just never seen it. Um, but it's, it's a great ab and core exercise. Uh, really works on not only the, um, the abs, like the, the rectus abdominis in the front and the obliques, but also the core as a whole and works on lumbo pelvic uh, stability with, um, with resistance. Now, a lot of times exercises done lying on the ground are kind of frowned upon or there's like a stigma attached to them because it's not functional. Um, but functional, in my opinion, and as a physical therapist, functional it depends on the individual and their individual goals. And I have no problem with plenty of ab exercises that are done on the floor, um, like every variation of a dead bug or a crunch or a reverse crunch. Um, they're all done on the floor, and I think for physique and strength athletes, um, they're appropriate and, uh, and, and they can be functional if, if the goal is to improve the strength of your core and, um, and improve your aesthetics. So check this out. And let me know what you think. Let's get into it. All right. So this exercise is going to start. You're going to lie on the floor in front of a low cable station. If you don't have a cable pulley station, you can just attach a band to a low, uh, a low setup. And what we're going to do, the most important thing here, is that we do that posterior pelvic tilt down into the floor. So I'm pressing my lower back down into the floor and not letting it pop up. We're going to let the weight get pulled up over our heads under control, and as we stretch up, it's going to be harder and harder to keep our backs flat against the floor. So as we go up, 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 it's going to be hard to lock that in and then come down. Now, the way you can think about this, think of an ab wheel, right? It's kind of like an inverted ab wheel. So when you're doing an ab wheel rollout, the hardest part is when your arms are forward like Superman. Same thing with this exercise. And the same form, really, um, and the same cues uh, are appropriate, okay? You want to lock in a neutral spine as you roll the wheel forward, and you don't want to let your back arch. And we're doing the same thing here. We're letting our arms go up over our heads, and we're maintaining a neutral spine. So here I'm going to show you the wrong way to do it. So see how my back is arched right there, and my ribs are kind of flared up? You want to avoid that position. It's not great for your back, and it prevents your abs from fully contracting. Now, watch as I do that pelvic tilt right there. Press my lower back into the floor. Now my spine is stable, and my abs are engaged, and I'm ready to pull the load. To make this exercise harder, lift your feet up off the floor. And now it becomes almost like a resisted dead bug. I'm maintaining that pelvic tilt into the floor, and I'm squeezing my abs as I pull the rope down. To make it even more challenging, try extending one leg, just like a dead bug. So the further your legs stretch out, the harder it will be to maintain that neutral spine. Another variation of this exercise would involve a crunch up, just like this. This is going to engage the rectus abdominis a bit more than the first version. As I crunch up, I'm engaging that rectus abdominis, but again, maintaining that pelvic tilt against the floor, and I'm crunching up against the resistance. And take a look at where I am crunching up. I'm putting the force almost on a 45 degree angle from the cable. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe if you want, and we'll see you next time.